the maid power cell is dead. The chip wires that I used didn't stick too well to the battery. Additionally, my soldering skill sucks, it seems. <laughs> the power cell is dead. Can't I make a power cell without soldering? Of course I can. Stick around to see how. My name is Edward and I think are with things. Welcome back. Please stop the video now and copy the sketch on the screen. This will be used to create the known soldiering contacts. Perfect. Now let's get to work. As you may know from the previous power cell making video, this sheet of tin is cut from a peanut can. I just cut the can and flattened the resulting sheet. Now I can cut smaller sheets of it and use them for whatever I want. For this project I need two sheets that will be the power cell contacts and also the parts between the battery contacts and the power cell contacts. This one I'm working on now will be the minus piece. Have I told you that the internet, especially YouTube, it's a great source of knowledge? Oh well, it is. If you saw my previous video on making the RAT9 power cell, you might remember that I struggled with seeing the markings on the tiny sheets of tin. Now I'm using the trick with painting the surface where the markings will be with a permanent marker. I saw this done by Alex Steele in the videos from his YouTube channel. I could say he's also a tinkerer, he's a blacksmith doing all kind of interesting and beautiful blacksmithing projects. If you are into tinkering, you should at least take a look on his channel, you won't regret it. Back to the point, he uses a special kind of paint, I don't have that, but the principle is the same. As you can see, the markings are now clearly visible. Thank you Alec for the tip. I'm cutting the material in such way that not too much material is cut. It's clearly better to have less material cut than filing until needed, than have more cut. You can't put back the material if you cut too much. So cutting outside the piece, then file.
Yes, it is clearly more work than what it was on the soldering version of the power cell. I won't try to hide that, but the result is much much clean and there are two more big advantages compared with the soldered version. One, you can replace the battery in three seconds when it will die. Two, if needed, you can recharge the battery in any charger the battery is using. minus contact is ready. I'm testing if it fits the slot from the 3D printed power cell case and also file those slots with the tiny sheet. If you are interested in finding more on what's with the 3D printed case see the previous video I was talking about earlier. You'll find a link for it and for the 3D printed model in the description. I'm now starting to work on the plus piece, sorry for the focus here. Because I can't cut the sheet between those two contacts with the scissors, I made a mini chisel. Hardening this mini tool was also learned from Alex Steel videos. There are some few pictures from making of the tool on my Instagram. Have a look if you are interested, link in the description. Again, more filing. and the piece representing the plus contact is ready to be fit tested. And it's fitting, no more filing is necessary. Now it's the time to fix the contacts in place. First, the minus one.
then the plus one. and time to fix the spring. The spring I used here, it's part, about one quarter, of a spring I took from a cheap ball pan. Let's see how it works. And again. And again. And now it works, at least to have something to fill. But it's clear that this is not the final solution. I have to keep the spring in place somehow. So I came with this solution. I used an M3 nut and an M3 screw to create an indent in the minus contact sheet. The spring, which is about 3 mm in diameter, will be coiled around this bump and stay in place, ideally. Let's test this. I made the bump a little bit too far from the edge. But still, the spring is very well kept in place, as you can see. Final test, let's see if the battery is charging and if it fits the red.
both tests are successful. This will be the last video on the RAT9 battery replacing slash making series. I achieved what I wanted, namely to show that and how the battery can be replaced, even more, how a new power cell can be entirely made, more even more, that you can do that without any kind of soldiering. Of course, improvements can be made on this, but it doesn't make sense to create another videos for those. I'll maybe post them on Instagram, so please follow me there. Special thanks for my 4 subscribers at this time. Thank you guys.